Good evening, bonsoir, good kväll. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sabinia von Gafke. I'm here on behalf of Attitude Stockholm to welcome you to a lovely and glamorous evening here at Blåhallen at the Stockholm City Hall. As many of you know, Attitude Stockholm is about lifestyle, trend, and fashion. And this year, they've decided to highlight and put focus on French fashion, the city capital of fashion, Paris. And it is, of course, a pleasure to highlight the sophistication and beauty of French fashion, but also to highlight its crown jewel, haute couture. Tonight, you will be experiencing three glamorous and mesmerizing fashion shows by three very talented and prominent fashion designers. Two of our most prominent Swedish designers, Lars Wallin and Ida Sjöstedt, and also our guest of honor, haute couture designer, Julian Fournier. And it is a great pleasure and honor that Julian is here tonight to showcase his beautiful and very emotional fashion show. So enjoy your meal, and I will shortly be back to, inter uh, to interview, to introduce the first fashion show of the evening. Thank you. I hope you're all enjoying your meal. I would just like to say we will start the evening with a fashion show by the talented Swedish designer Ida Sjöstedt, who makes ready-to-wear fashion and also couture fashion. But this is her first fully-fledged couture show, showing a selection of pieces from her previous collections. Ida's show is inspired by the world of fairy tale. So, ladies and gentlemen, let the show begin. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're enjoying yourself, enjoying the food, enjoying the show so far. It's now time for this evening's second fashion show. And this time, it's the praised, acclaimed, and our very talented couture designer, Lars Wallin, who has made an innovate who has made an innovative collection of dresses, especially for tonight. So this is, you're the first people to see this tonight. And of course, it's with a signature of Lars Wallin, it's elegant, femininity, beautiful design, but also with a little bit more edge and attitude than before. Enjoy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're still enjoying the evening. It's now time for the last fashion show and the evening's grand finale with haute couture designer Julian Fournier. Now, Julian has worked with respected fashion names such as Christian Dior, Jean Galliano, Givenchy, Alexander McQueen, and Jean-Paul Gaultier, before he founded his own fashion house in 2009. And last year, he was honored by the Chambre Syndicale de la Haute Couture, the governing body of French fashion industry, that granted Julian the member status which allows the Julian Fournier label to bear the haute couture label. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a very distinguished honor that few designers have yet received. Now, before Julian kicks off with his magnificent fashion show, I would like to bring on stage a woman that is praised and respected as a trend analyst, writer, and fashion journalist. She also has an extensive knowledge about fashion, trends, couture, and France. Please welcome up on stage to give us an insight about the importance and heritage of haute couture, the lovely Kai Bond. Welcome, Thank Kai. You. Thank you. Looking <laughs> ravishing as always. <laughs> I just thought if you could um, give the audience just a brief insight about the importance of haute couture. Oh, well, it is very important. I've been at my table tonight. Oh, I've been please. talking about digital techniques, 3D techniques, etc. But uh, I still believe, and not only me, because it's a culture. And uh, I think that it's more important than ever because people tend to, and even I um, talk for the designers, because the new generation of designers are very keen on uh, about handcraft mm. and knowing what, 
how to work with material, new material, and, uh, and also please and make those dreams come true that the consumer is waiting for. And just briefly, I know we, we have, I mean, the whole fashion industry here, but how would you define the difference between couture and haute couture? Oh, <laughs> well, uh, haute couture is, uh, is um, only uh, designers chosen by um, La Fédération de la Haute Couture, and, uh, which is also taking care of uh, designers from Pret-à-Porter, the ready to wear part, but it's a big difference and uh, you have to, it has to be made by hand mm -hmm. and everything, every part from choosing the material or the way you, you manufacture the material to the way you cut, the way you decorate, embroider and, s and so, I mean it's, it's uh, you know, that is the dream of, of uh, haute couture. Mm. And what do you think defines Julien Fournier? What makes him such a great and talented I designer? Think, I think he's very exciting because, first of all, he's an, a passionate person. You have to be, I guess. Uh, he's young. He has a young audience, funny enough. He surprised me by telling me that his clients are between 16 and 25 years old. Wow. So, <laughs> From I the Middle East. I haven't seen anyone between 16 and 25 in the streets here in Stockholm dressed in <laughs> Julien Fournier, but anyway, they are somewhere. Uh, and he's also very futuristic. Mm. He, he thinks in terms of, uh, in a different way as well. So he's of course touching the new technology as well. Well, Very exciting. <laughs> thank you so much for thank that you. insight. And a round of applause for Kai Bond, please. <laughs> so with his love and adoration for the female body, his sense of perfection and artistry, our honored guest and haute couture designer, Julien Fournier, will give you the grand finale with his show named First Retrospective as it gives a retrospective look of his career as a haute couture designer so far. And with this magnificent fashion show, he will portray an enchanting and beautiful tale, illustrating and honoring the woman, her vulnerability, her strength, and her femininity. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare to be mesmerized. I give you Mr. Julien Fournier. <laughs> 